Measurement of time. Table of time measure. We have 365 days in a year. But once in four years we have 366 days and that year is called the leap year. In one year we have 12 months and 52 weeks. In one month we have 30 days in some months, 31 days in some months and 28 days for February. In one month we have 4 weeks. In one week we have 7 days. In one day, we have 24 hours. In one hour, we have 60 minutes. In one minute, we have 60 seconds. Measurement of time. Calendar. The calendar shows us the days, weeks and month of a year. We have 365 days in a year, which is split into 12 months, namely January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Some of the months have 31 days namely January, March, May, July, August, October and December. But some months have 30 days namely April, June, September and November. February is the only month with 28 days but once in four years there are 29 days in that month and that year is called the leap year. There are seven days in a week namely Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Table of time measure. We have 365 days in a year, but once in four years we have 366 days and that year is called the leap year. In one year we have 12 months and 52 weeks. In one month we have 30 days in some months, 31 days in some months and 28 days for February. In one month we have four weeks. In one week, we have seven days. In one day, we have 24 hours. In one hour, we have 60 minutes. In one minute, we have 60 seconds. Clock Look at this clock. The face of the clock is called the dial. There are 60 divisions on it. There are numbers from 1 to 12 which are marked in equal distances. There are two hands in the clock. The long hand is called the minutes hand and the short hand is called the hour hand. The time taken by the long hand to move from one division to the other is called a minute. The minute hand takes five minutes to move from one number to another. The hour hand takes 60 minutes that is one hour to move from one number to another. When the hour hand completes one full rotation of the dial, it covers 12 hours which is half a day. When the hour hand completes two full rotation of the dial, it covers 24 hours which is a full day. Finding the time In this clock, the minute hand is at 6. So, it has crossed six numbers of five divisions each. So, five into six is equal to 30 minutes. The hour hand is between 11 and 12. So, the time is half past 11. In this clock, the minute hand is at 10. It means 10 into 5 is equal to 50 minutes. And the hour hand is between 4 and 5. So, the time is 50 minutes past 4. In this clock, the minute hand is at 3. It means 3 into 5 is equal to 15 minutes and the hour hand is at 7. We call it as 7.15 or quarter past 7.